over the top. Um, I'm gonna apologize to the French horn right now because there's, oh, there's no, no apology French necessary. Horn. No apologies. You can write our name. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother, <laughs> Joseph. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I'm also gonna apologize to the bass clarinet because I'm, just, too. I'm gonna put you on a part that's not. She's gonna love it. Oh, sorry. So, it's okay. um, first trumpet. Can you handle being the only one on the top part on the top line? Yeah. Okay. I figured you could. No. So. <laughs> you can do it. I can do it. So Did you bring your piccolo trumpet today? <laughs> can I go grab it? No. No. Wait, can no. you do it? Because I can change it. I can do it. I can okay. Do it. So we're going to have trumpet one be top line, top part. And a, um, guitar also. I was going to have flute, but. Alas. Alas. So, <laughs> Water so first part, end. second line, and it splits second measure. We're going to have oboe one, clarinet one, uh, alto one, and trumpet. Oh, no, not trumpet one, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So on part two, we're going to have clarinet two and three, alto two, trumpet two, and invisible horn. Part three, we're going to have tenor sax, trombones, and euphonium, and on the bottom we're going to have bass clarinet and tuba. Did I forget anyone? Hello. Um, P3. Do you want to play? It's actually P3 in military. Do you want to play part two or part three? Um, I would prefer part two since okay. I'm translating all <coughs> Alright, do part two. Hey. Um, did I forget anyone else? Play the first match or only come in measure two? Oh, um, if you divide, play the first measure. Okay. Um, and then just divide when you can. You know. Yeah. Um, since you only have one alto today, would you rather have the first alto part? Oh no. Um. It's up to you. I would rather have you on first. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyone else? Any other questions? However, I think if I was going to conduct this with an orchestra, I wouldn't do it in, yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it in, in uh, 16, yeah. I would do it in 4, like you just did it. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, I'm 12, 12. Okay. skip, school that right. 12, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, I might start it. Ya da di da 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 di dum 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 Okay, so start the tempo is like far too fast. Okay, yeah, your tempo is far too fast. Okay. No, it's too fast. <laughs> Think of a big four pattern. Okay? So a four and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So the big beats are easily seen in the pattern of four. If we're in nine eight, you're in three. Okay? So look at it again and then we'll do it all together. And one. Two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one. Now, once you get them going, I don't think you have to stay in, in 12 eight. You, okay. can, you can conduct in <coughs> a four pattern, but there's a lot of travel in the economy of means, otherwise you need a step stool and a trampoline. Uh -huh. So keep going with the travel. Okay. Okay, okay so everybody conduct with me? Okay? All right, got it. 
right? Ready? And up. Count two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Now notice I'm prepping the next big beat by a larger travel in the opposite direction. This is something Elizabeth Green talks about a lot in the book. And again, okay? Four, five, ten. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. One, two, travel. Two, two, travel. Three, two, travel. Four, two, three. And you simply travel in the opposite direction that you're about to go. Just makes sense. Okay? All right. I'll put it. All right. Think about the kind of sound that you want to hear on the downbeat, and that's how you should be standing. That's where your set position should be. Okay. That's what your face should look like. You should look like how you want the music to sound. All right. Especially when we have yeah. these kinds of rhythms that the trumpets apparently have never seen before. Okay. Is that too high for you, trumpet? No, I'm just going to. Yes. <clears throat> he had a really good warm up this morning. I'm sure. Oh, um, when we do the trills, this is just a style uh, thing. No. Um, start on the upper note and make them very. Don't don't go crazy in the trills. We just need a few little turns, and that's it. Okay, so demonstrate what you want. Okay. So. Just um, sing what you want. Okay. <coughs> uh, where, where are you looking? Up uh, here. Yeah, right there. Okay, great. Okay, we're on measure seven. Yeah, the penultimate measure. So. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you don't want it, you just want a grace note. Kind of. I can't sing. Okay. Maybe one turn. Okay. Kind of like a morning kind of a do that. Okay. Here's the last two bars. See if you can help them with that by conducting from the tip. Okay. Okay. Beat it will. Okay. Okay, let's let one last time. All right. Penultimate measure. Okay. 
No. You went to travel in the opposite well. direction. That's, okay, that's yeah. what's confusing them. Okay. Okay. Judgey, as Dr. Ross is conducting with you, watch how he goes through the beat. Okay. Especially the travel in the opposite direction before the next big beats. Okay. Okay. Good. You lead, and that's it. <laughs> have some kind of travel in your conducting. If you just hold, it's not wrong, but if you travel ever so slightly, you will help them to use more air. With an orchestra, if you travel slightly, you will help them to use more bow, which will obviously have a much better tone. Okay, comments please, thank you. Hello, Miranda. Um, I thought you did a really good job of adapting on the spot to Dr. Ross's commentary. Honestly, I think you did a really good job. I know you're probably shaky, but I did a lot good job of looking less shaky than you probably are for having to change so quickly. Um, also, my part was fine. Don't worry about it. It's Great. all good. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Um, um, you tend to lean forward a little bit. I'm sure that you'll notice that eventually. But um, at the end, I think where the tip of the stick was a little bit too up. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's more like this instead of like. Okay. okay. But like, you know, it's really spread. Yeah, I think you're probably one of the few people in this class that every time you get up on the podium, you like look extremely confident. I don't know if you know you're just doing a good job. I'm like, a really good so actress. <laughs> well, you're a very good actress because I feel like you have a very good okay. presence on the podium, and that really does a lot for the performers. It makes us feel a lot more comfortable with our parts. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Don't ask Sean players if it's too hard. <laughs>